Welcome to Primo Recenter and inside a brand new, fully updated 2024 185BH in Apex's Nano Series. A very popular unit because of the number of vehicles that can tow a unit like this. So this tip to tail is under 21 feet and your dry weight on this unit is 3,200 pounds. So it does fit a wide array of SUVs out there, some minivans. So there's a, a nice eclectic mix of different vehicles that you may already have that you can tow this particular unit with. And it's really uh, allows you to be off the grid right away if you wish. So by adding some extra batteries, you've got 200 watts of solar already on the roof. Part of your off-grade package as well, as I stand here, it's just above my head, is a three-speed out fan, which I love. So you can imagine if you first get to the camp and it, again, you're not on power, um, you've got the big windows here in the middle, big opposing windows. You've got the two at the very front. You can open up that fan, you're gonna draw the hot air out and you're gonna allow those windows to really flush in the, the cool air. So it's just gonna do a great job of circulating the air for you. You've got uh, windows in the bunks as well for the kids that can open. So you've got lots of screens here to be able to cool things down when you want to. Up front, we've got a great queen size bed here, lots of little storage nooks just at the end. We've got a MERS exit window here, as well as our large windshield window here. All will have a blackout screen, so no worries if you uh, don't want to be sleeping with the light in your eyes, that's not an issue. You've got plenty of story ab a storage above, but you can also use some of that under storage underneath your bed as storage for the interior as well. We are wired on the roof for a uh, with a TV antenna, so should you wish to have a TV, it's all set up here for you. You've got power hookups here. There's a location for your mount. So that's something we can put in if it's something that you desire. We can also do TV packages as well for clients, which we do regularly. So if that's something you're interested in, just let us know and we'll certainly price that out for you. We've got lots of storage here into the main kind of eating area here, dining area. And it's a great little four place um, location to have dinner if you have to inside, if you can't be outside. And there's enough room here to add a chair to if you've got uh, say three kids. You've got storage underneath here, so easy access with the doors, but you can also get to them uh, through the top. And this would be a great, again, third bed. So if you did have three kids, it's very, very functional. You can drop that down. That could be that permanent bed maybe for the oldest child. So give them a little bit wider bed. And again, you've got that great cross full of air. As we come inside, we do have a great window here at the door, which at least lets in some light. Um, they've gone away from outdoor and indoor speakers to a, a wireless speaker now. So a very, very popular option that people were bringing with them anyways. In this case, it's got a charging station with an additional USB hook in. So if you want to charge, say, a phone off that, you could. So when you dock it, it'll charge uh, when you have batteries and solar hooked up and uh, allow you to take that to the beach or to where you're eating. So it's going to be things you don't have to take care of, especially on the outside of the coach, like recocking outside speakers. We've got our uh, button here for our power awning, so quick and easy to put that out, going out a full eight feet. And then we've got our ignition for the light underneath that awning as well. Into our kitchen area here, we've got a power outlet just on the side with the undermounted sink, as well as the undermounted cooktop. It gives us full flush area to prep. So if you have to be inside, it's not a nice day, you do have a lot of room to work with, even in a small kitchen. So it's a really good use of space. And Coachman certainly has been listening to clients for this 2024 model year. They have added some drawers. So they've added a cutlery drawer, which they did not have before. And you've got a little spot to put that wet cloth or sponge just before you leave. Even we've got a little drink opener here. Great spot to put some pots and pans below. And then you can put all those daily dishes just above. We've got our microwave centrally located there. Nice high rise faucet, so easy to fill those bigger pots. And you've got a huge stainless steel sink here. So if you've got a really little one, that could even be your bathtub if you wish. You've got a two burner stove there. So again, lots of space to be able to prep a meal inside. You've got a 12 volt fridge here, which if you're looking to be off grid, we'd always suggest two batteries or maybe even going to two six volts are a nice option because then you're not gonna have to worry or think about fridge or you're gonna have all the power that you need. We've got some pantry space just above our fridge as well. Nice and deep, going out back about two and a half feet there. And it's got a lip so that the cans and things like that won't move around on you. We've got our traditional standard bunks, both, as I mentioned, with your windows and again, some blackout shades. And then we've got some curtains around those as well. You do have power in those bunks as well if something needs to be charged. And we do have a power converter that is ready for lithium batteries in the future. So it's kind of built in for the future already. And then we've got a great little two piece bath here in the back. So certainly a night if you didn't want to use what's in the campground, great for young kids, easy for them to get to. And again, if you have really young ones, you do have a little tub here, so you can have a little bath if need be, but you also have that outside shower with hot and cold water. So that can also be a little bathtub area, wash area as well. You've got your skylight in here, as well as a fan and, sky and uh, vent. So you can vent out the humidity. Our controls for our water pumper back here, 
we can check our monitor panel here to see how full our tanks are, how uh, charged our batteries are, and we have our ignition for our hot water tank on propane and electric. And then we've got a couple outlets, we've got a place to hang some towels, again a place to put some uh, basic necessities, first aid kit, things like that, in our medicine cabinet back here. And then we've got lots of LED lights in here, so it's nice and bright in a smaller coach. Full seven and a half feet wide here, so it does open up the space a bit for a bigger dinette, which is great. Again, if you're a family of three, four, five, certainly going to work well, even on a rainy afternoon. You can certainly be in here, be very comfortable. But hopefully the most time, you're going to be outside under your awning here, enjoying a meal, cooking together, just enjoying being outside and being camping. We invite you at the Prima RV Center to come have a closer look at this brand new 185BH in Apex's Nano Ultralight Series.